Hello everyone, that manga kid here to give my first impressions on the first two uh, omnibus volumes of Master Keaton. Uh, this is an older Naoki Urasawa work, um, but also a partnership um, with Hokusei Katsushika and Takashi Nagasaki. Um, so it's a, I believe that it's now Kirasawa and one of those two that ends up continuing the series later on. But for the first two, at least, I guess these three are involved in the creation of this story. Uh, it is about our main character here, um, he, uh, who is Master Keaton. He is an insurance investigator as well as a professor in archaeology, and he is a former kind of special services uh, military man. Uh, so he is quite talented at what he does. He's a little bit flighty. Um, like, he constantly, he's very good at his job, uh, but he constantly is, like, distracted by his, uh, his ex-wife's activities and his daughter um and it's quite funny because he's just he's doing his job he's doing it well but he also is constantly like oh yeah okay no there's this really serious thing happening but um asking his daughter like oh yeah no what did your what did your mom say about you know what how is she doing what is she up to kind of thing and he's just kind of um it's just kind of cute and funny because he's still very human even though he's very superhuman in a lot of his talents um, this is a very interesting series. These omnibuses contain one and a half volumes. Uh, so technically this is three volumes of the Japanese original release. And it's very much feels like a Naoki Urasawa work uh, in that it's a very intricate kind of thing. But it's more episodic uh, because each chapter is a new insurance claim that he's investigating. And what I really like about it is it takes you everywhere. He is half Japanese, half English. And so you kind of are in Japan sometimes, you're in England sometimes, you're in, I think he goes to Germany and various uh, Middle Eastern countries at some points. And this is only the first two volumes that he's traveled all around these, all, these places. And it's very interesting. Um, it's super action packed. So if you're thinking, oh, insurance investigator, it's just going to be a lot of talking and a lot of meetings and whatever. No, you're wrong. Uh, this is very action packed. He is very much a military man uh, without being like a super buff guy. He's a very intelligent person. He thinks before he acts and he is always prepared for um, anything, really. He, he is very, very prepared. And an interesting person because you find like he'll do something at the beginning of a chapter um like pick something up and put it in his pocket and you're like what is he doing with that and then in, in later on in the story it comes in handy uh and you're like he planned that from the beginning he planned it he knew he was going to need something like that and he he went out of his way to make sure he was prepared and it's very interesting um and what i like about it is that because it is episodic, you don't necessarily have to read it all in one sitting. I find with Naoki Urasawa's other works, uh, like Monster and 20th Century Boys, which I also like, I very much enjoy. I find that you know if you don't if you put it down and you don't pick it up for a while, you've kind of forgotten a lot of the intricacies of it, and you feel like you need to uh, reread a bit of it to to remember what's happening and remember the characters. Whereas with this one, because it's episodic. If you just read each chapter as it is, then you don't need to necessarily go back and remember any details because the only overarching story so far, uh, and this may change as there's 12 of these volumes, um, the only overarching story so far is the fact that he is kind of estranged from his family a bit and he's trying to kind of, um, you know, he's trying to be around his daughter more, he's trying to learn about his ex-wife's activities and trying to kind of reconnect with his family a little bit. Um, that's really the only overarching story. The rest of it is very much just he gets a job uh, and then he goes and does that job and then he comes back and gets another job. Um, but it's very entertaining. Very, very entertaining. And the art is very much Naoki Urasawa art. Nothing that you haven't 
probably seen before. There are color pages that are quite lovely that are not glossy, which is my favorite. I love when they're just matte finish color pages. Um, as you can see on that page there, there is a little bit of gore, uh, and that's just because of the nature of the job he's doing. You know, people kill for insurance money sometimes, or um, he mostly kind of is investigating mysterious deaths, um, mysterious disappearances, mysterious company, corporation kind of um, suspicious decisions that corporations are making and that kind of stuff. He's, he's, he is an insurance investigator. Uh, so it's a lot of that. Um, this is a very kind of intelligent work in that it really does go into a lot of the archaeology, it goes into a lot of history, it goes into a lot of intricacies of these different places he's visiting and these different organizations and people and whatnot. So if you're not up for a bit of a history lesson, then maybe this is one you want to skip. But if that doesn't put you off and it sounds interesting, then I highly recommend picking this up. Um, not many people, as far as I can tell, pick up Master Keaton, um, and I'm not sure why, because uh, it's very good, and I'm really enjoying it, and I do have more volumes, but I don't have any more of the sequential volumes at this point, so I can't read any farther until I get more. I have quite a few of the end volumes, but none of the ones in between, so yeah, I'm excited to get more of this. I will certainly look forward to reading more, because it was very entertaining. If you've read Master Keaton, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you have any questions, please also leave those in the comments. Thanks for watching.